If Kizaru vs Rayleigh's battle is extended, who wins? For one on one, it looks like Kizaru will have a hard time winning. Welcome everyone for today's video about One Piece. Before anything else, please do like, comment and subscribe on this channel. Click on the bell sign to get notification on my latest uploads videos. Sit back and enjoy. Borsalino more commonly known by his alias Kizaru is an admiral in the marines. After Aokiji resigned from the marines and Akainu was promoted to fleet admiral, Kizaru is now the only remaining admiral from the previous trio. He was first mentioned by Nico Robin during the Straw Hat's initial encounter with Aokiji. Because of his actions, Kizaru can be considered the secondary antagonist of the Sabayati Archipelago arc and one of the major antagonists of the Marineford arc. Silver's Rayleigh, also known as the Dark King, is an extremely powerful and famous retired pirate who formerly served as the first mate of the legendary Roger Pirates known as the Right Hand of the Pirate King. Rayleigh is one of the major figures, along with Whitebeard, Shiki, Monkey D. Garp, Sengoku, and Kong from the times when the Pirate King was alive. After the execution of Goldie Roger and the disbandment of the Roger Pirates, Rayleigh became a coding mechanic at the Sabayati Archipelago. Also at some point after this he became the husband of Shaki Yaku. He served as Monkey D. Luffy's mentor in the use of Haki during the two-year time skip. In the past, when Luffy and his friends were overwhelmed at Sabayati, Silver's Rayleigh came to help. Rayleigh can hold Kizaru so that Kizaru can't attack the Straw Hats. The fight then stopped after Kuma removed the entire Straw Hats. But what if their duel is extended to the end? Who will win? Is it Kizaru or Rayleigh? One from the looks of it, Kizaru and Rayleigh fought very well. This is arguably a balanced fight. Kizaru is not exactly young. He was already 56 years old when facing Kizaru in Sabayati. Even so, this man feels still at the peak of his strength. If the enemy let his guard down a little, Kizaru would defeat them in an instant. On the other hand, Rayleigh was not at all fit. Rayleigh's age against Kizaru is 76 years old. But Rayleigh is still one of the strongest humans in the ocean. He can match Kizaru, and can even scratch the face of Kizaru in the duel. Sentameru even commented that Rayleigh was the first person he saw to be able to stop Kizaru. But on the contrary, Rayleigh could not leave Kizaru. He could not help even though Luffy and his friends were attacked by Pacifista and Sentameru. If they fight seriously, both Rayleigh and Kizaru can actually defeat each other. Two Kizaru seemed to lack confidence he could face Rayleigh alone. In Sabayati, Kizaru said that to arrest Rayleigh, more dedication was needed than what they were mobilizing at the time. Previously, Garp also said the Navy could not face two legends at the same time. When the Navy was focusing on Whitebeard, they couldn't devote their resources to fighting Rayleigh too. Garp's comment stressed that according to the Navy, it was not enough to capture Rayleigh just one admiral. It could be that they need troops, like when the Navy fought Whitebeard. Three which factors can be decisive? Stamina. In my opinion, because the Kizaru and Rayleigh duels are balanced, if the battle is extended, then this could be a long duel. How long? Probably the equivalent of Aokiji vs Akainu, which takes 10 days. Or at least, the duration can be dozens of hours. For situations like this, stamina is certainly a vital thing. Well, I'm sure even though he usually moves slowly, Kizaru also has extraordinary stamina. If Akainu and Aokiji both can duel 10 days, I'm sure Kizaru can. Especially because Kizaru and Akainu's age was actually close together. Akainu's age before the time skip was 53, only a little younger than Kizaru. 4 Rayleigh starts gasping against Kizaru. Well, this is the problem for Rayleigh. 
In chapter 513, Rayleigh said that he wanted to help Luffy and the others, but he said he was not as young as before. It was also written as if her breath was breathing heavily. If the fight lasts too long, it could be that Rayleigh will lose because he runs out of stamina first. 5. Who will win? In fact, both Kizaru and Rayleigh felt that they had not shown their full strength. But, from what we have seen, in my opinion, if the duel goes one on one pure, then Rayleigh will win this duel. Rayleigh might analyze Kizaru's movements, then attack Kizaru with his strongest move. Rayleigh himself certainly won't win easily, but he will show why Kizaru and Garp don't want to face him without enough preparation. But the story is different if the battle goes on too long, then Kizaru is assisted by another navy. Especially Garp, who said he wanted to deal with Rayleigh when Rayleigh was about to be sold on the slave market. If attacked, Rayleigh might be able to use House Hoku Haki to get rid of the weak navy. But if the ones surrounding him were Garp, Kizaru, and Sentameru, Rayleigh's old age might be the key to his defeat. He will run out of stamina faster to deal with mobs like that. The problem. That, too, I don't think Rayleigh will lose easily. It could be, if this scenario materialized, when Marineford the Kizaru, Sentameru, Garp, and the other navy who captured Kizaru were all injured. Now that's my analysis. What do you think? Thank you for watching Capitan Seote YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe.